Okay, we're in Dallas, and this is the 2018 Dallas Mineral Collecting Symposium, and we are in the new headquarters of the Arkenstone, and I have with me right here Kevin Brown, who Hello. is the architect of this doing? whole thing. Uh, we're about to start a party here, so we're going to run through the whole gallery real quickly with Kevin giving us a little rundown on everything that's been done. So if you're ready to go, Kevin, we're ready. Let's go. You can see the beautiful front door window combination that we have here, imported from Germany. So it makes a nice statement, nice big 5x10 windows. You open up those windows, you come right inside the front door, and immediately you're exposed to this beautiful cubby system here. Beautiful minerals for sale. Nice examples of different petrified wood and fluorites and lapis and so forth. And then you see this flows right into a book area. We decided that it would be important to have a book area to help educate mineral collectors and make different periodicals available to them. And you can see that we, the design of this was such that you can actually see the front of the book. Nobody buys a book based on the, the binding, so we figured, all right, we'll go ahead and let people see what they're actually seeing in the ads. Uh, the, then it flows around to the opening. This is the portal. Takes you from our beautiful lobby through into the area with the minerals. This is 150-year-old red oak. This has been reclaimed lumber from warehouses or large buildings in the northeast of the United States. We designed this with uh, onyx panels. Behind each one of them are 54 LED panels, which are lighting them up. So it gives you an idea, a feeling as though you're walking sort of through a cut right in the rock. And you enter, you go through the portal. Very cool. Into the gallery. <laughs> and we refer to this as the drawer of the wood gallery. You can see it's beautifully laid out with cases, lots of drawers. Every one of these drawers is filled with specimens. You have a wide variety of different choices. Um, over here on the left, we adjusted some of the rooms in here and put in a, a sort of a designer room, an area with much larger specimens so that people can get a feel for some of the larger specimens that they can buy. And again, carry that same uh, cubby system that we had in the lobby at the two ends of this room. Uh, in doing so, it shortened the room by about five feet. Uh, but it also provided with full view at both ends of the room so that you have this complete and also the contrasting white against the very dark gray walls. Absolutely. And black Brilliant. Tiles. Yeah. Looks fantastic. And in this room, this room initially was about 76 by 50. Well, you can see in the distance there's a couple bump walls. So when we get over there, you'll see how we use those walls to create flow in this, in this uh, gallery. <laughs> Beautiful area over here set aside for the jewelry. You notice we carry that same portal idea on all the, the cut throughs from this room into the different side rooms. Sort of give you an idea that you've entered the mine and these are little portals that go off into other little areas of interest. Right on. So. And then like I said, these, these walls have been here just to create a little bit of flow. And so what we did was we went ahead and you can see we changed the paint color. We do a little transitioning here. On oh, that's the funny. Line. I thought it was just the lighting, but that right. is a different color. Yeah, you can see up in the top how it's a hard thing. But what we did was we did shading right on the, sh on the, on ah. the shadow. So that most people just, they miss it completely. They just they think you're in a darker area. And, and you are. And this we refer to as the museum gallery. Beautiful minerals in more modern style casing. Uh, all the LEDs, uh, these are cases that we do have for sale. Uh, these museum cases here. It flows around to the other side. And you have on this, the shelf case, same kind of idea, beautiful, done by country, continent, or whatever. Uh, beautiful things, smaller specimens, uh, more uh, selection, some rarities, some other things in some of these cases. Great. And then uh, we have a, an additional gallery. We call this the trophy gallery. Um, the idea here is that you have the finest mineral specimens in the world. These things are sold uh, individually, and in this situation, they're sold in the case. So you can buy the mineral, you can buy it in this case. And this is attractive for not just mineral collectors, but collectors in general. People who love uh, art, or, or, or automobiles, or whatever, they can take this mineral specimen home, this incredible uh, wonder of nature, 
and put it in their house, in this case, and immediately it has stature. You're not putting a rock on a shelf. So they don't have to figure out, how do I display this? Exactly. It's kind of a turnkey uh, solution. Right, and we work with, uh, I work very closely with the construction of, of these with the manufacturer. So we have the specific lighting, the right uh, frequency, the right intensities, uh, and they're reinforced so they can hold rocks up to about 250 pounds. Not that any of these come close to that. And then you got killer DVDs here. Yes, incredible <laughs> DVDs from uh, a friend of mine. I think the camera owner knows him. <laughs> and that was actually from McQueen. Right? Yes, that's, six pack, that's the six pack from the six pack pocket. Yes. But this room, you can see, has a different feel. We have the tile in the room, it's black walls, black ceilings. So it just gives you a whole special, unique feeling as you flow through this, this gallery. And people take note, it's about 15 degrees cooler in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure not there. by accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> around here we have a base making operation in the back behind the bar unfortunately at this point it's, it's more hidden okay uh, and then this flows back into what we refer to as the hall gallery um, it started as a hall and we put stuff in it and said hey you know it's a hall gallery <laughs> but some beautiful pieces uh, t-rex replica skulls some beautiful amethyst rings a uh, nice amethyst cut out for a table uh, lapis, some other things, some very nice things. Now I notice there are no maps on the wall for people who might get lost. Well, luckily it's just a big circle. <laughs> We've seen this guy before. Yeah, that's the cave, cave that's there. Been hanging around for years. And then this basically just brings you back around. The gallery O covers. Yes, this is all the covers of minerals, different minerals that we've sold over the years or handled in some manner. Um, and back through the familiar yeah, theme now. now. Another portal back towards the lobby area. Uh, what we'll be, do now is take a quick trip into Rob's China room. Uh, again, his little portal to go into this area. And you can see here's Rob's fine collection of uh, Chinese minerals. Wow. I know the exposure is trying to compensate between the well-lit cases and the dark background, so it's not easy to see unless I get close, but I mean it's really a feast for the eyes. So everything in this room is from uh, China. Is this his personal collection or is this a uh, this everything's is on sale? Collection. Okay. Um, and in fact, many of these pieces will be on display at various museums and uh, events over the next several years. In America or in China or both? Uh, both. All right. I recognize a few of these beauties that we filmed. And this is the wash basin here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Incredible selection of minerals, the colors, the, the quality, the size of the pieces. Rob has a, a strong fancy for uh, large specimens, as one can see from the size of most of these. Well, it's, uh, oh, and look, we're back to the agates again. <laughs> There's a nice agates in there. Quite a view. And uh, that leads us right back where we started. Right back to the lobby. This fluoride. Right? Jeez, look at that. Yeah, we took out the drinking fountain and put in a fluoride. That's great. <laughs> you know, this is so typically Chinese, and then it comes with a wood base. I mean, yeah. just absolutely beautiful. Right. Custom made stuff. It's incredible. 
And we're back where we started. Right. And there's well, the bookcase. Thank you very much for joining me on the tour of the Arkenstone. So uh, that's it. That's uh, it. Uh, thanks for giving us the tour, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I know it's uh, getting really busy right now. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate you taking the yes. time. Thank you very much. All right. You guys Take have care. a great night. <laughs>